Yeah, uh, Captain. Uh, the heat here is unbelievable, you know. I'm just lucky the trees provide some shit. <laughs> what the? Oh, gross! What? What is this? What? What's going on? No! Ranger Rick, come in. Richie, where are you? <laughs> Want to go down to the city sewage outflow? Maybe snag some gross samples for the Gag Lab collection? Nope. All I want to do is take it easy. It's summer vacation, and it's hot. Huh? Come on, Abby, I'm bored stiff. Then loosen up. Go reorganize your sock drawer or something. Again? All right. Oh, what now? Agents, there's been an incident. I need you to take care of it pronto. No problem, sir. We're on it. Relax. No sooner do I start my spa vacation than something gross happens. Oh, that's gross, all right. The forest seems to be turning to goo. Awful smelly goo! Mm, what about the forest rangers? They fled the area. Something about a monster. A gross monster? You'll soon find out. You're going there undercover. To some place called Camp Kaibo. Huh? Summer camp? That's an order! Now get going and don't pester me! I'm trying to feel the burn! <laughs> cool! We're going to summer camp! Doesn't that sound like a blast? I'm gonna get Mom to sew name tags into my underwear! <sighs> oh, we don't care if there's bugs in our heads! Oh, we don't care if there's bugs in our heads! Why? Cause nothing beats Camp Kaibo! No, nothing, nothing beats Camp Kaibo! <sighs> it's hotter here than in the city! Woo! Woo! Wee! Hi, I'm Jerome. Are you a badger or a muskrat? Uh, excuse me? I've been to Camp Kaibo five times! I'm up to porcupine level! Porcupine power! Porcupine level, huh? Wow! Impressive! Or scary! So you're a newbie, right? Or, as we say around camp, a cockroach. <laughs> Lamest mission ever. No way! It's gonna be awesome! Trees, plants, all kinds of wildlife. The animal droppings alone will be amazing. Ugh. here if it isn't Abby Archer. P Paige? You're our counselor? Yup. Meaning for the next week, I'm in charge of you. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. <sighs> Listen up! Around here, what I say goes. If any of you break my rules or if any of you roaches complain about me to the adult counselors, you spend some quality time in the powder room. <laughs> There's a monster out here, all right. And it's got a whistle and a clipboard. Counselor Paige runs a pretty tight ship, huh? Yeah, something's pretty tight. I think it's her visor. Come on, Ty. We have to find out what's up with the forest fast. Oh. 
Man, I've never been so hot. I know, but try to keep moving. We have to hurry if we don't want to end up in Paige's outhouse. And I want to be back in time for carving soap animals. Uh, right. Whoa! All the trees are gone. Maybe there was a forest fire. No, there'd be ash and stumps. And this is an ash. It's goo. <gasps> what was that? <gasps> Abby, wait! Let's get our gear! No time! <laughs> What are you doing here? Woo, woo, wee! Porcupine Patrol. I saw you leave and figured you might get lost. After all, you're no porcupine, Abby. Huh? Why are you watching me anyway? Um, um, as your camp buddy, I have to stick with you. Um, uh, close to you. Nobody goes AWOL on my watch! Now back to camp, you roaches! It's free swim time. Oh, great. How are we supposed to investigate with the human whistle breathing down our necks? You think it was those two we heard in the woods? Or something else? <laughs> hey, Abby, watch this! Porcupine plunge! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 Oh. Algae. Ah, man, Hermes. I guess that first suit is no picnic in this heat, huh? The city is oh, suffering through a a record heat wave. Whew, uh, meteorologists are at a loss to explain the bizarre weather pattern, and I oh, mommy. Can I have a drink in my sippy cup? Oh. Lab rat, there's an unusual amount of algae in the lake. Ugh. A really unusual amount. Any idea what's happening? My guess is it's related to the heat wave. Check it out. Trees absorb carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. But when the trees go, greenhouse gases increase and the thermometer rises. That kind of warming is more of a global phenomenon. It's weird that it's so localized. Maybe some more investigation will give us a clue. Yeah, let's go. Anything to get away from... Ah, too late. <laughs> Check back with you happy campers later. Ty, you have a knack for birch bark canoe making. You might just be porcupine material. Your sister, too. Wow! You hear that, Abby? I got a shot at making porcupine. Gee, that's great. Do we really need a fire during this heat wave? Quiet! It's a tradition, like ghost stories. Now listen and enjoy. That's an order. Camp just keeps getting better. The stories you've heard are true. There's a monster stalking these woods. Huge yellow teeth. Ah! Giant sharp claws. He's out there in the woods at night, watching, waiting, hungry for the taste of any camper who wanders off into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> you just made my list, Archer. I, I just saw a monster. We don't have much time before Paige does a bed check and finds out we're gone. Oh no, it's spreading. There were trees here this afternoon. Oh, I'm gonna grab a sample of this stuff. There's something familiar about this goo. <gasps> well, well, well. <gasps> if it isn't my old pals, Ty and Abby. I knew you'd come. Chester! Don't call me that! Chester was pathetic, but then we got our powers. Our rotting touch. Chester's gone. Now I'm the one 
the only Kid Rot! <laughs> we tried to help you. You tried to stop me. And you failed. But it's good to see you. Especially you, Abby. Sorry, the feeling isn't mutual. Come on, Abby, play nice. Why don't you just give yourself up, Chester? Because I have too many rotten plans. Come with me, and I'll tell you all about them. <laughs> Those toys are useless against me. Come on, Abby. You like the gross side of life. Come join me. I promise we'll have a rotten time. <laughs> In your dreams, Chester. Uh, I told you, there is no Chester. I'm Kid Rot. Chester could never do this. Chester, stop it. You're destroying the forest. Uh, 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 stop! Stop! Hang on, Abby. He can't rot rocks. I can rot, but you can't hide. I'll see you later, Abby. Count on it. <laughs> Kid rot, huh? He's more powerful than ever. And now we can rot whole trees with a single touch. That explains the heat. Composting organic material throws off heat big time. Talk about a rotten heat wave. Have you analyzed the sample we sent you, Lab Rat? Yep, this rot is completely dead. But the last time we dealt with Chester, the rot he created was great fertilizer. Not this time. Now he's sucking all the nutrients and microbes out of the rot. It's totally lifeless. If this deforestation continues, it could start a chain reaction. Once topsoil is lost, the vegetation disappears, and you could end up with one gross and lifeless planet. I'll keep working on some way to neutralize him. Have fun at wallet making, you guys. Freeze! Ah! Porcupine Patrol! Jerome! Stop sneaking up on people! Abby, you'll never become a porcupine if you keep wandering off. Y you'll be lucky to make Badger. <sighs> Maybe I'm just not porcupine material, Jerome. Don't say that. I'll get you through this. And I'll keep you out of the powder room, too. It's my pledge. Hi, Abby. I'm back and rot on time. I picked these for you, one friend to another. I'm not your friend. <sighs> hey, who are you? No unauthorized visitors in camp. And picking flowers is against camp rules? Who is that? Jerome is a real friend. That's right. And as a porcupine, I outright... <laughs> no! <laughs> If you're trying to impress me, Chester, you're wasting your time. Come on, Abby. Tell me you don't enjoy this. Hey, cut it out, kid. Make me. Oh, wait. You can't. <laughs> what do you think of this, Abby? Ugh. Just who or what are you? Let me out of here! I am your counselor! <laughs> You're nothing but a show-off, Chester. <laughs> Wait till you see what I rot next. I'll see you later. <laughs> He's out of control. If we don't do something, it's going to be more than just this camp that's in trouble. I know. There is no Chester anymore. There's only Kid Rot. <laughs> Come on, Abby. We gotta find Kid Rot before he strikes again. Huh? Abby, you can't chase that wannabe into the woods alone. I'm going with you. No, Jerome, stay here. These kids need a leader. They need a porcupine. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whee! You're right, this calls for porcupine power. Attention, everybody! I'm Jerome, and I'm your... Remember, guys, kid's only got one weakness. He can't rot anything non-organic. It's your only chance. We're gonna need it. He could be anywhere by now. How are we gonna find him? I sent you some autopiloted assistance. <gasps> whoa! Spaceship! UFO! We're being invaded by aliens! 
the GRS-1. You rock, Lab Rat. Whoa! Abby! Abby is... an alien. You shouldn't be too tough to find. Right. We just look for something really rotten. Huh? Don't look now. But I think our boy has a crush on you. <gasps> a really big crush. Ugh. It's some kind of Mount Rotmore. Couldn't he just send you a box of candy like a normal boyfriend? He is not my boyfriend. What do you think, Abby? How can you resist this? The ultimate tribute in rot. Now! Will you join me? Forget it! No way! Not in a million years, Chester! Fine. Because that's how long it's going to take the Earth to recover when I'm through rotting it. A, a rot valanche. <laughs> Ty, look. We've got to save the camp. <laughs> oh, no. Can't he stay out of trouble for two minutes? Abby, where are you? Come back. I don't care if you're an alien. I'll still like you. I'll handle Jerome. You stop that rod. Abby, jetpacks are against camp rules. It's right after no treats from home. Gah! Roddy or not, Abby, here I come. Uh oh, uh -oh. there goes our way out of here. <laughs> We've got to stay positive. Positive? Positive? Abby, I don't know about you aliens, but I don't want to be turned into goo. Oh, <laughs> oh, we don't care if there's bugs in our beds. No. Come on, Jerome. Because nothing beats Camp Kaibo. Nothing, nothing beats, beats Camp, Camp Kaibo. Kaibo. We, we don't, don't care, care if there's lights in our heads. Why? Because nothing, nothing beats, beats Camp Kaibo. Hey, we're not rotting. We're floating! This roof is aluminum! Aluminum isn't organic! It doesn't rot! Yes! We're safe! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Eat goop, kid! Chance. Here I come, campers. Huh? What? No! In. Hurry! We've got to find Kid! You go back to your spaceship, Abby. I can't go with you. My place is here. Those poor campers will be lost without me. You know what, Jerome? I think you're right. Woo! Woo! Wing! Woo! Woo! Wing! Nothing. I don't see Kid Rot anywhere. I guess he's really gone. Well, he wanted to be in a world of rot. Looks like he got his wish.
Well, the heat wave is over. Without all that rotting compost, the temperature is returning to normal. And the reforestation crew is hard at work. It might take a while, but with some replanting, the forest will be green again. Yep. Kid Rot might have been tough, but Mother Nature is no pushover. Agents, where have you been? We were in the forest, sir. The crisis is over. You mean I canceled my avocado scrub for nothing? No, sir. We can give you a full report. Maybe fill you in on all the disgusting details? <laughs> no. My skin consultant says stress is bad for my pores. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me this is not therapeutic mud. <laughs> Admit it, Abby. Camp wasn't so bad after all, was it? No. Actually, it was kind of fun. Except for Paige being our counselor, of course. Hey, where is she anyway? 